A Young Life Remembered. The community will come together to honor a transgender teenager who took her own life just one year ago. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa is live with the call to action after the death of Leela Alcorn. Tammy. Kyla, you know, while the community is brought together by the tragic death of Leela Alcorn, they will also remember her spirit and the positive changes which came to the trans community because of the teenager. It's hard to even think a one year mark of an event like this. One year ago, Monday, the death of 17 year old Leela Alcorn became a wake up call. The teenager took her own life by walking into traffic on the highway. Leela wrote she struggled with the pain and lack of acceptance of her transgender identity. All children's lives mean everything, and that we love them, and that we affirm them, and that we accept them. The community will remember Leela's legacy, who wanted to become a champion for change in the trans community. Leela's death inspired a historic City of Cincinnati ordinance earlier this month. The city banned conversion therapy for LGBT children. Leela mentioned similar therapy in her suicide note. For me personally, there is nothing more important than this, and I want all of my colleagues to know that. Advocates say while we as a society have come a long way, Leela's anniversary will look at what else the community still needs to fight for. In many, many ways, Cincinnati has really led the country in unpacking the transgender narrative. Advocates say the community still needs to urgently address how to help trans youth and trans women of color. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5.